Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of XCOM Enemy Within. We are back in the DLC expansion for XCOM Enemy Unknown, and we are kicking some butt. Our recruits are doing some pretty hefty damage here against the incoming sectoids, and hopefully they'll be able to keep it up. Now we should soon be having an alien UFO coming into sight. We'll have to shoot them down and go from there, but we'll have to scan for activity and see what's up. So, let's get scanning. What's going on here? Contact. Well, there's that UFO flying over Japan. Let's scramble interceptors and get ready to take them down. Go Raven 1. And the bird is away. I like the vertical takeoff pads. Those are pretty cool. Pretty darn cool. And there it goes. Take down of that. We have eyes on the bandit. Thank you very much. Shouldn't be too hard. Two shots to hit should take him down, so we should get him down one more. There's a miss. Come on now. There we go. UFO is down. It's only a small scout though, so it's nothing Central super phenomenal. We have a confirmed kill on Bogey 001. I repeat, the UFO is down. I'll copy over. Oh uh, yeah. Solid copy, Voodoo 37. Nice work. Central left. Alright, people. Retask recon satellite Bravo and get me a visual on that crash site. And now we realize it's right still now. alive. On dun, screen. Dun, 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 dun. Magnify. Magnify. Enhance. Zoom in. If only that was how still science actually worked piece. for cameras. Come on. All right. I recommend we get a strike team to the crash site immediately. We're gonna go take down this satellite. I mean, you have you have uh, protect our satellite. Let's send a Sky Ranger and be done with it. Who are we sending? Not two assaults, I don't think. We'll send Shapira again. Having a high-level heavy can be quite useful on useful early in the game. We'll send Reynolds. Is he, uh... Huh. Hang on a second. Ah, it was Raman who was originally there. That's right. So we'll send Reynolds. We want to train up a sniper as quickly as possible. And we'll send... I guess Shapira will stay. And who else will we send in? Hmm. Let's send in Hendrix and Williams. Hendrix and all of our guys are men. Do we have any other female characters we can bring? Elena? Elena is women, okay. Dobrenina. What about Hendrix? Is there another female we can bring in here? Martha Becker? Send in Becker and Dobrenina. Alright, let's see what you guys will become. Reynolds and Shapira should be enough to cover for you guys. So let's launch this sucker. After this, we're probably going to start mainly using a, a set squad of people, but we want to try and see what our options are first. Get some squad diversity going on there. We're probably going to want to have one of each of the major classes leveled up pretty high, but we'll, beyond that, we'll have to wait and see. So let's begin our assault here. Let's go. You'll be heading into Japan for the next mission. All right. It looks like the aliens went down. There, there is, of course, Meld here as well that we'll have to hunt down. There are civilians in the area. Let's go find out where that UFO went down in Japan. What are we up against here? Some broken trees. Nothing too scary. This is Big Sky. We're just over the crash site. Strike one is in position to engage. Loud and clear, Big Sky. Don't see we'll any indications right now. Strike one is authorized to assault the alien craft. Hmm. All right. Well, let's start off by moving Shapiro way, way forward. So we're moving up to off. those two bits of debris there that should give them some decent cover. It might expand our vision forward far enough we can see where the meld is or where we have to go. We don't see a whole lot right now. Oh, there's a meld canister. Anything else we can see? Not really. So it looks like we're heading over this way. That's fair enough. Let's keep moving then. Dobrenina, you're going to head over to the high cover over there, just in case you happen to spot anything, which I doubt. There we go, you're safe. Reynolds, I'm going to send you far forward as well, because I want you to be in a position where you'll actually be able to attack next turn. Is this not actually cover? Oh, you can't stand up there. Okay. Fair enough. Time Reynolds, you're going to head over this way as a sniper. You want to be close to the front, because you don't have a snapshot or squad sight ability yet, so you're not particularly powerful. And we're going to send Becker over Target to this rock. There we go. That should give us some more cover and not trigger anything else unwanted. Good. Next up, we're going to be moving Shapira again, because he doesn't have the same kind of mobility as the rest of the crew. So we're going to rush him over to that high cover. He's also further back. There we go. There's two sectoids. Can we take a shot of them from here? Probably not. We'll probably have to move up before we can see them. Yeah. 
looks to be the case. So we're going to send our Location sniper confirmed. Reynolds up to the tree. Alien object inside. There we go. There's our first melt canister also visible, so that's good. Now if I move you up, can I get you into cover and still take a shot? Probably not from the looks of it, but maybe there. from here. Nope, you still can't see them, so that's fine. We'll just move you up. Now, Becker, I'm not sure where to put you. I want to get you a bit closer, but I also don't want you to put you to be put in an exposed position. I think we're actually just going to dash you over here. That should be fine for now. Unless there's more sectoids waiting right over there, we should be okay. Yeah, that seems to be fine. And Dobrenina, I'm going to actually move you over to this tree trunk, because move. you should be able to get a decent shot at them from there next turn. As long as nobody gets shot in the face right now, we should be fine. This looks like he's mind melding, which is actually great for us, because that means we're only taking one shot, albeit at a boosted uh, aim. But we'll see how they can do now. He looks like he's going around to try and get a flank shot on somebody, which could be a problem. And thankfully he missed. Excellent. That was what we wanted. Alright, Reynolds, you're probably going to take a shot here at the guy in cover. He's actually easier for you to hit another one because he's in high cover, which is pretty funny. I might give our other crewmates, teammates a chance to fight, but I think I'm just going to give you the first shot here, Reynolds. Can you hit that sectoid? Yes, you can. Beautiful. There we go. Double kill for you. Now, I was considering letting our rookies take a shot at the guy behind cover just to give them a chance to try and kill them, but the idea was if I missed that sectoid, I would need these guys to try and finish him off. Now, I didn't want to have to use Becker for that, because I want Becker to be able to Got run it. over here. Moving. Only problem is that triggers more sectoids. She could be in trouble by herself there. Looks like it's safe, though, so that's good. That means we can charge the rest of the squad forwards, Roger and that. that will still mean that we have some kind of cover going on. Excellent. And Dobrenina, you can come up as well. You're going to go behind Got this high moving. cover. There we go. Excellent. Now, we are going to need to move up our sniper soon. He's going to have no support in a second. But it looks like for the moment we're fine. So, Reynolds, you're going to dash all the way over here. There we go. We're going to grab that meld this turn. Very nice. Got the goods. Now, is there other melds sitting around here somewhere that we can see? Just so we know where else we have to go if we don't go straight into the ship. No, it's looking like it's somewhere in the ship. I don't see any moving bits in here, though, so I could be wrong. Hmm. You can definitely cheat the system for the, uh, the melt canisters, though, because they move, so they're pretty visible. Alright, so that's that. How are we going to handle this now? We want to try and push forwards, but our sniper can't move again this turn. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop Shapira Heading down out. to here first, so they're a little bit further forward. Yet they can see inside. the Outsider. Okay. This might be a problem. The Outsider is a nasty piece of work early in the game, because he has a full plasma rifle. Well, light plasma rifle, anyway. And that could be a problem. Can I grenade him from here? I can. I can grenade him and take out his cover. Now, if I can do that, my other teammates can probably get a good shot in, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to throw the grenade over here to do some damage to him, mainly to blow up his cover. Like so. Because that'll make it a lot easier for us to hit him and finish him off with conventional weapons, which means we get to kill him and keep his body, and also not lose the weapon fragments, which is even better. So, Dobrynina, you're going to move over somewhere. Hmm. Where do I move you to? I'll move you to... hang on. First of all... Can I get to a better position with Becker? No, but Becker can already see him. So if Becker takes a shot, she has a 55% chance to hit him. Take the shot, Becker. Can you do it? No. All right, that's unfortunate. Now, Dobrynina cannot see him, but if I move over to this piece of uh, stone here, she should have a shot. Can you see him? 55% chance. This is over 100% chance to hit. Now he moves, and he goes down. Perfect amount of damage. Good thing we hit him with that grenade, otherwise he would have still been alive. All right. So that is good news. That could have been much worse. Now, the Outsider is out of the way, so we should only have some more sectoids to deal with, which is much easier. Becker, I'm going to send you over Target to confirmed. this piece of debris, way. which should give you some kind of cover against whatever we might find in there. Shapira, I'm going to move you up to that Getting same to piece that of cover, but I might move you further with more of your turn, depending on what we see this turn, or I might just overwatch with you to be careful. We're going to send Reynolds Moving over out. to that piece of debris. I'm assuming the other aliens are in the UFO at the moment, not over here which is kind of what I'm counting on. Shapira, I'm actually going to cover with you this turn with Overwatch. And we'll send Dobrynina over to that piece of debris there. And she's also going to Overwatch. The last thing we want to do is push in too fast and get ourselves murdered. 
looks like the sectoids are either in the blackness over there or in the UFO. Oh, there they are. Hello, friends. You get a reaction shot from Shapira. Can you hit your target? Over here, how about you? No, you both, both missed. Unfortunate. Thankfully, these guys shouldn't get a turn immediately, and they're going to have to move again. And that should be fine, especially if they come closer. That guy did. He should be an easy kill now. He's actually in cover at all. And the meld is over this way, apparently? Yeah, there it is. Alright, so how are we going to deal with this? This guy should be an easy target, because I don't think he's actually in cover at all. Oh no, he counts as being in cover for some reason. Okay. Okay. Good. <laughs> Let's see then. Becker, I'm going to move you over to this piece of cover, and you're going to see if you can take a shot at someone. From here, do you have a good shot of that insectoid? No, you do not. You're going to grenade him instead then. I'd much rather kill him with bullets, but more importantly, I'd just much rather kill him. So... Lob that grenade, kill that sectoid. Grenade out. Down he goes. Perfect. That's what we like to see. Alright. Good cover, Becker. Now, I think we'll use Dobrynina for the next one if we can. We're gonna move her into this piece of cover alien so she's not being flanked. That looks like the primary power Ooh. source for the alien craft. Not a power source five turns to the melt is definitely power enough. It would have to be generating to propel that ship. I'd watch your fire down there. That equipment could be highly unstable. Don't worry, there's no one over there. It should be fine. Just let me take my shot. I thought we reduced those beginner voiceovers. Whatever. 25% chance to hit him is not very good. I don't think we can actually throw a grenade that far. So I'm just going to take the shot. Dobrynina, can you hit him? No, not really. I wasn't ex super expecting it, though. Reynolds, can you get into better cover and then take a shot? Not really. If I come in here, you're going to be quite exposed. Which is not what we want. I could move you up to this cover, though, which is probably a bit better. And then you might be able to see him as well. Also, you're a sniper, so I don't know why I thought that would work. We're going to switch to the pistol and take a shot with that, and then we're going to switch you back to your sniper rifle before I forget. And you missed him anyway, which is fine. So we're going to switch over. Hang on. Switch switch him back to the sniper rifle. Perfect. Shapira, you can kill him if I really, really, really want you to. All I have to do is send you to fire a rocket, and he will die. Because, well... There's not much you can do about a rocket to the face, but I think what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to move you up to this front cover okay. and just try and gun him down. Not quite as reliable, but I don't want to kill them all with explosives. Can you hit him? 27% chance. No, that's fine though. We're all in pretty good cover. I think we'll be okay for a single attack. Here he comes. I probably should have just overwatched there, but we'll see what happens. He takes a shot. Please miss. Ouch. Four damage shot to the head there. That must have hurt, though, Renina. Is that Dobrynina or is that, uh, who is this? That's Becker. Okay, Becker. You're gonna get a kill, hopefully, Dobrynina. I'm gonna try and move you up. I'm just gonna try and take the shot first and I'll get her to take the shot if you miss. Dobrynina. Nice shot. Down he goes. So that's unfortunate we took the damage for that because we didn't really need to. But you know what? No one died, so I'd say it's okay. Operation Severed Pipe was a success. No... No one was lost, everything was killed, all the meld was collected. Continue. Hopefully we get some good stuff that we can sell into uh, valuables. We'll have to wait and see. There we go, though. That was pretty excellent. So, what's going on here? Whew. Becker's a support, that's good. Dobrynina is an assault. Three assaults already, wow. The game is just throwing them at us this time. Alright, you're our assault, that's good. Dobrynina, you are a assault. Support assault, excellent. A lot of assault options this time. We got a nav computer and a power source research we can do. Illyrium, some alien alloys, some weapon fragments, some meld. One damage flight computer. Okay, we can sell that. We could have taken more damage pieces and I would have been quite fine with that, but... That means we can do the we research, which is also nice. Barracks, Commander. I know we do. Soldiers merit an award. So we're going to come here and sell the damaged flight computer, since it doesn't have any other purpose anyway. That'll get us 20 more credits, which is quite valuable in the early game like this. Now, how much time do we have till the end of the month? We have 25 days still. Plenty of time. Weapon fragments aren't even finished yet. Now, do we have enough? We need one more engineer. Really? <laughs> one more? All right. We'll have to get at least 10 engineers by the end of the month so that we can start next, uh, start building our satellite nexus for next month. Uh, if we go to building facilities, we don't have a whole lot of space, though, is the problem. I'll start excavating one more room there, because we need one room for our containment unit once we get it. We need one for a power upgrade, and this is going to be our satellite satellites go. We have to build a squadron of satellite sections here so that we can actually get uh, the whole continent covered with only four spaces. We're going to put our power source over here so we can put a thermal generator here later. 
that should work out just fine. Now, apart from that, we don't really have anything else we can build. We're already building the satellite for 17 days, so that should be fine. And I guess we just finished our research. Scan for activity, finish that with weapon fragments. There we go. Let's assign them some new research and see what this says. Although the alien weapon fragments provide a limited glimpse into the systems utilized in their equipment, we've seen enough to confirm my worst suspicions about their technology. Mainly, that it is vastly superior to our own. However, I have been encouraged by the rapid developments the research team has made in studying the damaged circuitry and electronics we recovered. Our initial efforts have already yielded a successful outcome. The new integrated sighting module created for our weaponry was heavily influenced by the alien's own targeting system. We can now make scopes. Scopes are pretty awesome. I might try and make a couple of those now. We could even start beam weapons, but that'll take 34 days, which is outrageous. Um, I think we're going to just go for alien materials now. That should probably be a good idea. Get the nano uh, nanofiber vests. Make ourselves a little bit harder to kill. Um, xenobiology might also be good, but or melt recombination. Now we, we, I think it's either alien materials or xenobiology at the moment. And I think we're gonna go for alien materials. We'll go for I'm xenobiology still next. I'm a hard time grasping what it is the aliens are hoping to accomplish. I really here. like getting access to the arc thrower early us? on, but I think we're gonna try Why and go for some nanofiber vests and whatnot if we can afford them. There must be a pattern that we haven't established yet. Hmm. I think that'll do. So with that done. We probably have enough time for one more mission. I'm going to double-check the time. I really need to keep track of when we start these episodes. <laughs> I'll be back in one second. Yeah, we have plenty of time left. Let's spin the globe and see what they want. Commander. Oh, apparently what they want is counter communication. All right. Let's check the situation room and see what's going on there. Ooh, that's a good offer. One of the scientists serving in a remote observatory used for tracking and monitoring UFO activity in Canada has come under attack. We cannot allow the threat aliens to threaten any personnel contributing information to the XCOM project, so they need us to deploy a squad and ensure it's safe return. 168 credits, panic reduction, and two scientists. Absolutely. You got it, sir. Launch that mission. All right. We Who are we sending? Seeing your progress. We have support, sniper, heavy, and a sniper. Well... Ramen, I think I'm going to get you to take the back seat for now. Reynolds, you'll, you can stay on. Shapira, you can stay on as well. Dobrynina, I might have you stay. Hmm. I might swap you for Hunter. Who else can we bring? Kraus, you can be our assault. Sniper heavy support assault. Do we want to bring anybody different? We're basically down to our, our main liners here. Cook, Hendricks, Williams, and Turner might become important later. We're probably be dealing mostly with Shapira, Reynolds, Gordon, Kraus, Hunter, and Dobrynina. Hmm. Who do we want to bring? I like Kraus. Kraus can stay. How about other people? Reynolds, you're a pretty cool dude. You're from Canada, aren't you? Yeah, you're from Canada. You can stay. Calvin Reynolds. Shapira, you're a pretty cool dude as well. Avi. Hmm. Hunter. Yeah, I'll bring along Hunter, why not? You know, I swap out some people later on. This'll do for now. Let's launch this mission. We'll try and level some people up now. What do we have here? Fly across the world to Canada, apparently. This mission looks like it's happening in Vancouver. Touching down. Begin our assault. Yep, Vancouver, the Canada. Drop site the drop for this operation will be in Canada. Alright, so this is us fighting a bazillion thin men. <laughs> Launch the mission. Should be okay. We're going to be a little bit outgunned here. But the council won't believes be a Dr. Marizuki's research to be extremely valuable. They're requesting we escort him safely to the evac point. Big Sky will be in position to make yeah. a pickup at the other end of the facility. My efforts here have been focused on studying the alien flight paths in the hopes of determining exactly where it is they came from. New objective no effort there, friend. I'm going to dash you a million miles ahead into potentially dangerous territory. Are you okay with that? That's what I thought. You're going to go right over to the doorway first, actually. <laughs> We're going to get a soldier in through there first. No point in charging in somebody blindly. I think we'll send Reynolds this. to the doorway, and then he can he can open it this turn. Can't he? I think he can. If we select him, I believe he can just left-click the door and open it. No, he can't. Okay, you can do that on your turn when you have full moves left. Or at least a move left. Interesting. In that case, Marizuki, you're not going to go through there yet. There is no meld on this map, interestingly enough. This is one of the council missions, and apparently those don't get meld. So that's good to know. We don't have to worry too much Solid about rushing, then. We can take our time and be nice and careful here while escorting the good doctor. 
Kraus, you're going to come around this way. We want our assault to be near the front lines. There we go. And Hunter, you're going to come over to there. That should be pretty good. Now we can open up this door and book it through there once we know what's up. So, aliens are going to be running around outside because that's what they do. They are right behind us, really? They are right behind us. Hello. Wow. That was unexpected. All right, Reynolds, this is your opportunity to shine. Shoot that guy in the head. Looks like he managed it. Pop, Pop goes the thin man. All right, what's at the door? More thin men? No more thin men, good. We're gonna move you down to here and make sure there's no more thin men hiding in the alley outside. Looks like we're safe for now. You're actually gonna overwatch there just in case something crazy happens. Kraus, you're gonna move right down to the window. As our assault, that's probably the best place to put you. Hunter, you're gonna run right over to the door. We're gonna be taking that next. And Marazuki. So far, it's clear the aliens have developed a propulsion system that allows for faster than light travel. Fancy. Get some FTL drives out of these guys then, maybe. Let's move our way over this way. There we go. That's our team basically done for this turn. I would like to get our sniper somewhere closer, but for now he has to stand still. I'm going to sit him over here by the window for now, and that way he'll have a line of sight outside if anything happens to pop out next turn. Not great, but it'll do for now. Shapira, I'm going to dash you out to here and see what you see. Through the door, Shapira. There we go, Avi. Hold that door for me. And Hunter, you're going to come around to this pillar. There we go. It's like gas thing. I don't, I don't even know what that thing is. But we're gonna stand by it. I find myself wondering how far these creatures have traveled to undertake this invasion. The resources involved are staggering. And it's a good question. Where do these guys come from? Where are they going to? Who knows? For now, I'm gonna move you over inside this gas canister as well and hope you don't get murdered. There we go. Kraus, you're gonna come out to side. I'm not sure where to put you. I'm gonna put you up That's in these crates family. for now. Got something uh oh, we found a thin man. That is kind of unfortunate. Can you shoot him this turn? You can shoot him this turn. Can you kill him this turn? 50% chance to hit him. Do it. Do it, Kraus. No, you missed. That's unfortunate, because he can shoot at the doctor. If the doctor gets shot, that's game over. Please don't kill the doctor. No, you just missed me. That's perfectly okay. Missing Kraus is an absolutely acceptable alternative. Hello, how did you get up there? They like dropping in on us, apparently. Reynolds, time to do your job again. Snipe an open-air guy. Pop his head. Oh, he survived. That's the most disappointing thing. All right, Shapira, you get the kill then. 85% chance to kill him. Please don't miss. Thank you. Should have started with you, apparently. All right. And Kraus, you're going to try and move up if I can get you to some cover. I could run and gun you over there, but I don't want to wander so far away from all of your allies. We'll do it anyway. We're gonna run and gun you into cover just in case anything else happens to be right over here. And from here, you should be able to kill him nice and easy with that shotgun since you are going to be at super close range. And we found some sectoids. Interesting. I really wasn't expecting sectoids here, given that this is a uh, council mission. They normally are only thin men, basically. We're gonna take a shot at him in the face. Please don't miss. Thank you. All right, that is a dead thin man. Unfortunately, Hunter, you now have to kill off two sectoids. Otherwise, she's gonna be in a whole lot of trouble. So. Can we even get you to a position where you can see them? I don't know if we can. You're the only one with the turn left, though. I'm going to move you over this way. And you're going to take a shot down at him. He's exposed. That's even better. 76% chance of the 60 crit. Please don't miss him. He is dead. Fantastic. Only one sectoid left. The odds of her being killed are now pretty thin. You're actually just going to keep your head down there, Marizuki. Please don't murder our awesome assault. Stink insectoid. I don't think he's going to be able to from that range, though. He's no longer flanking, I don't think. Ouch. Two damage hit. That's definitely acceptable. Definitely acceptable. Reynolds, you can't see anything, so I'm going to move you way up. You're going to come okay. up here and meet up with our assault. And we found some more enemies, unfortunately. There's another sectoid. Okay. I'm not liking this too much. You can see them, but you can't really shoot them. I'll switch you to your pistol so you can take a shot. No, not reload. Switch to the pistol. There we go. With the pistol armed, you can take a shot at him. Only 35% chance to hit isn't great, but it's better than nothing. No, you missed him. Okay, nice try. Now, let's see. If I move over to here with Hunter, I might have a good shot over this sectoid. Doesn't look like it's a great one, though. He's still in high cover to me for some reason. Take the shot. And you 
missed. All right, unfortunate. Now, if we take our heavy Shapira, I'm gonna move Shapira up to here and see what Shapira can see. Shapira can see that one. Can you hit them from here? 47% chance, looks pretty solid. Looks like a yes. Brilliant, another dead sectoid. That's what we like to see. Now, Klaus, you can move, but you can't run and gun this turn. So I'm gonna move you into this position, a little bit closer, take your shot. Only 14% chance, ooh. Is this gonna work? Can I hit him with that? Looks like I can, so we're gonna grenade that one just to make sure he doesn't do anything nasty this turn. There we go. Down with the sectoid. It's too bad we have to grenade him to death, but hey, that's better than us getting hit. Marazuki's gonna run up against the high cover here, and then we'll stop there for now. There we go. Problem is, our assault is way behind us, too. Finn Man's probably gonna drop in on us this turn. No, it looks like we're safe from that. Let's run Hunter up to the destroyed building area. There we go. Alright, how are we gonna handle this? We're gonna send, it, send Avi up to here. I might actually have Avi reload this turn. It's probably a wise decision. I think we might have most of our team reload, honestly, since they've used a whole lot of their firepower recently. Okay. Let's get Reynolds up by here. And can I move him again to another good position? Hard to say, really. I'm going to have him overwatch there in case a Finman man drops on us. We're going to move Marazuki up to where? I want to move him further ahead, but I don't want to move too far, otherwise we're definitely going to get overrun by enemies. We're going to try it, though, just for dangerous sake. We're going to send Hongu Marazuki right up to there. He didn't actually find anything. Fantastic. All right, Kraus, you're going to come join him. Already he is there. bodyguard. Make sure that guy doesn't get any more trouble than he needs. Okay, there goes the rest of the roof. Okay. Doing pretty good so far here. Reynolds has nothing to shoot, which is unfortunate. We're gonna send... That's the, the point right there. We're gonna send Solid Shapira way commander. up and see if there's anything else waiting for us. For our drop-off point. No, it looks like it's actually pretty safe now. We're gonna send you most of the way there. The good doctor's gonna head right to those crates. There we go. Actually, something I should make sure, we're going to get you to open that door for us, Kraus. Is there anything waiting on this side of the truck? No, we're safe. Alright. We're going to head over and keep on watch move. on our scientist. There we go. Hunter, you're also going to follow up behind. The there we position. go. And we're probably going to have some visitors this turn. I'd be very surprised if we didn't. You're going to switch back to your sniper rifle instead of the pistol. And I'm actually going to have you overwatch again, just in case anything Enemy else drops on us this turn. Way, strike one. Yeah, here they come. That overwatch might come invaluable. Where are they? There's one. Hello. You get a shot at you? You're too far away, aren't you? Yeah, you are. But All right. Well, we should be able to kill him pretty easy. He's nice and close to us. Let's give Hunter the chance, because getting him another kill would be nice. There we go. That is the dead pin man. Fantastic. I think we're basically safe to run Marizuki into the zone now, so get out of here, Marizuki. Uh oh hello. How'd you get there? Thank you for coming to my aid. I only hope my data is beneficial to the cause. All right, Mirazuki made it to safety. Now all we have to do is kill this we one remaining sectoid. On board. That we have a like new safe to me. There he goes. <laughs> well done. Now you just need to eliminate any remaining hostiles. That's much better. All right, Kraus. I could run you into this poison, and then you'll be able to kill him. Unfortunately, the poison fills a huge area in space. Um, let's see, Hunter. Can I get you to a position that's any better? Not really. You don't have a medkit on you, so you're not immune to the poison either. Shapira maybe could do it. I don't know, though. Hmm. Kraus is our best bet. We're going to send Kraus right over to here, and she's going to take a shot. Way. There he is. Take that shot. That is a 58% chance to hit. Please hit. Oh, goodness. Now we're in a bit of trouble. No All right. Happened. We're going to have to move up here pretty darn hard to protect our exposed person. Now we're probably going to have to kill him with explosives. We only have one more person who can actually take a turn. I don't know if you can even get close enough. Ooh. <laughs> that was unfortunate. Shapira, you're gonna head over here and you're gonna grenade that sucker. Frag grenade him. You grenade just him. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, there we go. Grenade. That should kill the sector without blowing up the vehicle, and that way we should be home free. There we go. Shapira got a promotion. Well done, Avi. Excellent. 
A vengeful crone is a success, giving us eight alien deaths, no operatives lost, gives us a whole bunch of rewards. Some very nice ones. Too bad it's only North America that gets its panic reduced, because they're pretty much calm anyway. But, you know what? Any panic reduction is a good panic reduction. There we go. There we go. Alright. Give me the rewards. Whew. Shapira has been promoted. Fantastic. You get to be a bullet swarm shooter, I believe. Getting two shots with your primary action is fantastic. Alright. Krauss is injured, unfortunately, but that's fine. Hopefully they'll be able to get back later. We've got the International Service Cross as a new medal. Excellent. And they want me to award the Battle Hardened Badge. I might start doing that. We have the Sectoid Corpses, Thin Man Corpses, and Weapon Fragments. Fantastic. We can start building laboratories if we want. Not that we will. And... Good job, Commander. It sounds like Dr. Marizuki's research has proven to be as valuable as the Council hoped. Fantastic. We also got 168 credits, which is huge at this stage of the game. Panic reduction and two scientists. Remember, Brilliant. Is that a global panic reduction in watching. Canada, or just... Yeah, it looks like it just affected Canada. That's fine. It would have been nice to get Brazil, or one of these other countries that's actually unhappy with us. But you know what? We'll take what we can get. Um, with that said and done, I guess we have a ton of money to work with now. Hmm, that's a good point. Let's take a look at our medal, and we're probably going to end this episode here, and we'll do what we want with the money afterwards. We have two Battle Hardened Badges, and one International Service Cross. What are we going to do with the International Service Cross? This is an interesting one. You can give plus two will to the soldier, based on the various nationalities in the squad, or plus two aim per continent bonus XCOM has earned. Some weird bonuses. I'm probably going to go with plus two will, just because it gives us the ability to have a soldier not panic as easily, and it's immediately relevant. If we have the plus two aim per continent bonus, that's not bad, except for the fact that it takes a long time for those aim bonuses to accrue. With the plus two will, we can get it immediately, so we're just going to go for this one for now. There we go, and we're going to call this one the Diversity Cross, maybe, for now. Might rename these later. Just giving them some kind of a relevant name to what they are. So, that's two awards down. That's looking pretty solid. Take a look at our soldiers again. These guys are looking pretty solid, honestly. I'm liking them. Hang on a second. Weren't you in assault before? Wasn't... Didn't Becker turn into assault? I thought she did. That's weird. Huh. Weird. Anyway, we have four new backups we can bring in if we need to. Our current squad looks pretty solid. I think we'll keep with probably Shapira, Reynolds, Hunter, and Gordon or Kraus. I like Kraus. But we'll see what we get to do with these guys. I kind of like that squad, though. They might be our uh, our go-to team. Either way, thank you very much for watching, everyone. This has been Vanguard of Valor, doing some damage here in XCOM Enemy Within. If you've enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to like today's episode. And I look forward to seeing you again next time. Until then, bye-bye.